This is Chapter 4, Section 5, Direct Variation, Lesson 5, Video 4 of 4 Videos, Graphing Direct Variation. So the example says a three-toed sloth is a very slow animal. It travels about six feet per minute. Write a direct variation equation for the distance y a sloth, sloth will travel in x minutes, then graph. So again, it's telling you what y represents along with x. So depending on how far or how long uh, the sloth is moving, that will determine its complete distance. Therefore, the independent variable is time, while the dependent variable is distance. So the equation would be y is equal to 6x. To graph this, you can start by making a t-chart. Now, given the fact that we're talking about time and distance, negatives shouldn't exist. So you should do 0, 1, 2, and 3. So 0 times 6 is 0, so 6, then 12, then 18. Graph what we can. So we'll go 1, 3, 5, 7, 1, 3, 5, and 7. So we get 0, 0, 1, 6, And then 2 and 12 and 3 and 18 are a little too far up. From here, you can connect the dots. Oops, not very straight. Okay. Something you'll notice about all direct variation graphs is that they should always go through the arc origin. So again, all direct variation graphs go through the origin, which is 0, 0. That means that the y-intercept is always 0. Given that it's y is equal to kx as the equation, that should make perfect sense. There's no plus anything to the right. So for your u try, the perimeter y of a square varies directly with its side length x. Write a direct variation equation for this relationship, then graph the function. This is the final video of four videos.